Hello, and welcome to Share Talk. I am Bonnie Hughes. Alien Metals is back on Share Talk to update us on the latest news about their rapidly advancing to production Hancock Iron Ore project in Western Australia. Bill Brody Good, CEO, will tell us all about it. Hello, Bill. Hi, Bonnie. Nice to see you again. Yes, nice to see you again, too. So yesterday, Alien Metals announced a strategic acquisition agreement to further boost the development of the Hancock Iron Ore Project in Western Australia. You commented that this is a key strategic acquisition of the tenement application located on the southern boundary of Hancock. How significant is this to the future development of the project? Um, well, it, it's strategically it's incredibly um, important because the the main so the access the main hall access from from the resources at Hancock that we've defined um, pass through this this tenement the the Molina uh, three seven five two tenement so um, it gives us now ability to to sort of manage and control the tenement for. Um, you know, for for sort of continuing our, our fast track development work for for getting that hall road installed, um, and you know, there's it's it's still a it, it's a tenement in a in an iron ore um, environment. So um, further down the track, there's there's there might well be um, iron ore that uh, that is of interest to to the project, but that's much further down. So strategically, it's it's key really to to get the the most, uh, the shortest route from um, from the resource to the Great Northern Highway, uh, where the plan is obviously to then um, transport the product uh, to market via the via the highway up to Port, um, Utah Point. So this assists in basically the logistics of getting the iron ore to road or rail. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, and again, it it without then you know not not the Molina necessarily is an unfriendly party, but it just gives us the um, you know the comfort, I suppose, and another level of de-risk that we now um, will be, will be controlling that that um, tenement. And uh, as I say, there might be upside on the iron ore, but but key at this point is then we can hopefully fast track the um, uh, the development of the hall road. You know, get the necessary permitting in place so that um, we can just push ahead as a sort of within in house, so to speak. And what other things on the project would you like to accomplish um, in order to get this fast track to production? Um, I think, to be honest, everything in the background is 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 going really well. Um, you know, we've we've had a, we've signed an initial heritage agreement. The permitting for uh, for the mining lease is ongoing. All the, all the different aspects that need to, the studies that need to be done. So they're um, they're forging ahead very well. Uh, our recent um, Agreement with uh, Anglo American for um, for their an opportunity for them to to really uh, look at the project and see if there's um, there's interest there with a possible up to 15 million US dollar funding and um, an initial offtake agreement. I think adds huge um, kudos to the project and and shows that um, even the, the the prelim studies they've done um, they they like the project they like the product. And um, you know, feel that um, it's something that they'd like to add to their portfolio, uh, which is which is great. I mean, it's and having that potential for for some pre-funding, uh, you know, more than half pre-funding of of what we're we're looking at is the the capex needed to get the project off the ground, um, and also with such a such a major party who who you know we again it de-risks um, the project and makes it much more viable. So. Yeah, we're very excited by by every where we are today, um, and the team is still pushing hard to um, you know to get get us into production um, early next year. You know, next year let's let's see where we get to, but um, that that's our strategy, and we're carrying on in that in that vein. I mean, that's a major accomplishment to get um, a major mining company like Anglo American to sign a mandate letter. So you must have been in ongoing discussions with them over the past several months. Yeah, no, we've been we've been talking to the team at Anglo for yeah uh, two three months I'd say, um, and they've been really open and and um, and flexible on on you know the term the the initial terms um, that that we've currently sort of agreed on. Um, and as I say, I think um, they 
they're keen for the product. They see uh, what we currently have as a resource, but I think they also see the potential for both more resource that we've yet to to work on and and, and define, hopefully at Hancock. But don't forget, we've, we've got Brockman, which I'm hoping we're due to drill. Uh, we're going to get on the ground in the next few weeks to do our, our maiden drilling there, which um, with, with you know, uh, the sentiment and, and from from historic work, we we hope that will that will be a potentially a second resource. Um, and with the recent acquisition of Vivash Gorge, um, you know, close to to Brockman, uh, we also have a sense that that there might be more product there. So um, I'd like to think that they they they're comfortable working with the team, and I think Lloyd and Aaron, especially in Perth, have done a, a great job uh, working with with Anglo. But that this is hopefully the start of a, a longer term relationship and and you know a larger a larger sort of um, offtake and and product available for them to um, to to carry on uh, purchasing. Well, I mean they are quite keen if they're deciding to take a hundred percent of the uh, offtake of the iron ore product that you have. Well, absolutely. I mean, the product, you know, all the tests we've done so far, um, it's great product. It's, it's you know, it's that that key 60 plus percent um, with low deleterious um, you know, material inside. So it is a good, really good quality product. And, you know, they they obviously strive for for different different levels of product. Um, what should we get to this point? And, and they yeah, you know, we get we get to a final agreement. Then they they they'll have options. They can use it for blending lower grade material to bring that up to standard, or uh, uh, you know obviously their choice um, maybe just send it straight to um, you know to to the market to uh, to put into the furnaces. And so, what can uh, we expect uh, as a next update on the iron ore project? Well, we're um, we're just getting final results to from the recent little bit of recent drilling on um, uh, on the two ridges. So we going to then once we've got those, those that's all infill um, to uh, hopefully update the resource and, and hopefully bring it up um, up to the next next level. Um, then uh, it's just continuing what we've been doing. You know, as as permitting comes through, um, as uh, you know, different different stages of, of where we're at with you know we're planning on the on the highway intersection, um, on the studies we're doing. Uh, Getting getting that that whole road uh, route um, sort of granted access to permission for works, all those sorts of things, um, you know, just continue. And then results from from Brockman, or you know, get drilling there and start getting some results through. It's still a big log jam for for analysis, but um, you know, we'll just keep keep the market informed. And um, as I say, hopefully with Vivash, once we can get some boots on the ground, do some work there start getting a sense of, you know, planning for, for next year. Oh, that's great. Well, Bill, thank you very much for joining us and we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Well, Bonnie, always a pleasure. Thanks very much. And thank you everyone for joining us on ShareTalk.